Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen, and today I'm going to do a get ready with me, and I'm going to be chatting and just kind of spending some time together, just kind of like friends sitting, talking with each other. I do not do tutorials because I am not a makeup artist. I just enjoy it. I'm, I'm enjoying it more. I am enjoying it more. I'm wearing my bathrobe. I don't know for sure what I'm going to put on, so I just thought I'd go ahead and film this while I was getting ready. So here I go. I'm going to start out with my eyelid primer and I have a mirror right here. I'm going to see if I can do this without having to hold on to a mirror, but I just use the tiniest amount. I mean, tiny of the Milani eyeshadow primer. They don't make my very favorite uh, primer anymore. So this, this works real well for me and I have to, ha I can't use concealer. I can't use foundation. I just, ha I have to use a primer because it just doesn't last. I'm gonna try not to talk about the products I'm using. Just sit here and talk, maybe talk about jobs I've had in the past. I don't know, but we'll just sit here and talk. My sister told me, I have two sisters. One is 71 and one is 74. And my 71 year old sister told me it was time for me to talk about makeup because she knows how much I love makeup, but I haven't had as much of a passion for it since the pandemic, but I'm, I'm getting there. Just one pump of this, and that's the Dermatology Tinted Moisturizer. And you'll see it doesn't really leave a tint, but it keeps it from being white. And one pump is really all I need. If I'm gonna be outside, I use other things to keep my face out of the sun and my neck and my decollete. I use a hat, I use sunglasses. I, I'm out in the sun about 15 minutes a day just so I can get my vitamin D. This is a foundation I have heard my friend Kathy from Kathy's Beauty Care Chat Chats mention a ton. And I'm gonna use one pump and I bought the mini bottle of the Tarte Found Sealer and I bought mine in medium neutral. And I'm just gonna put one pump on my wrist. And I think you can go through any of my videos and I have never put a liquid foundation on with a brush until I bought this. And I bought this from BK Beauty and it is the 101 brush and I love it for powder and for liquid foundation. There's just something about it that, you know, I like all my other brushes that I have, but there's just something I like better about this. So I'm just gonna put a little on, get it around my eyes first. And I just try to get it on the area that needs the most coverage. And I'm always really gentle around my eyes and I don't use a, concealer. The very first job I had was babysitting and I was about 12 years old. I absolutely loved it. I was the youngest of three, so I wasn't really around a lot of younger children. And it was a pretty good gig in our town because you would get the same people asking for you again and again. And that worked until I was about 16 and that's when I could date. I didn't babysit very often after I was 16. Now with a little bit, there's just a tiny dab left on my hand. And I'm gonna use this brush, this end of this brush. I love this brush. This does really great for powder and for blush, but I, I never did like it for foundation. So I'm gonna get whatever's left on my hand and put it right here. And usually right around above my eyebrows. For some reason, I it doesn't take foundation very well and I don't know why. And if I put foundation just in this area, there's no need for me really to go down my neck unless I just want to because I don't really sheer, I just sheer it out to here. But I do like the new Tarte foundation. I've been using the next product for probably three or four months and I love it. It's called the Brow Freeze by ABH. I had been looking for an alternative to my hairspray because I do this every day. And you just, I just bent a old brow brush. I washed it and I bent it just so I could just dab it in here but this will keep my brows in place without my eyebrows flaking. So I'm just gonna go like this. I get a little bit on there and I don't have to go back in and get more. And even my unruly brows, the ones that are a little bit longer, uh, I don't have to do anything with them. While my brows are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lipstick. And it is, and I really do like it. I'm not in love, but I like it. It is from Buxom and it's the Full Force Plumping Lipstick. And this is probably the most neutral color that I have because I'm gonna do a neutral neutral to warm look, which I usually don't do. But this is called Supermodel. 
and I use it without any putting anything underneath my, you know, I, I don't prime my lips and I don't have on any lip liner. I just go straight into it and it does not bleed, so. And with three swipes, one, two, three swipes, you've got, you know, a nice subtle lip. And, and this is the palette I'm gonna use today. It's by Emily Noel 83 and it's Makeup Revolution made it and it's her, the Emily Edit. And this is the second one I've purchased. When they came out, Emily sent me both of them in PR. I gave my PR away. I bought one for myself and, and, here, and this was the other one. And again, I gave my PR away. I bought this. I have not repurchased this one. It is beautiful. There are so many colors. I don't think I'll ever need to repurchase that. And then the next job I had, I was 17 years old. I graduated from high school and I got a job full time at the bank as a bank teller. And I really liked it. It was uh, right downtown. It was like right next door to my dad's business. And I was a paying, I was a paying and receiving teller. And then I worked up to being a note teller. But I tell you what, I learned so much from working at a bank. I knew that what people, what people wore, what people looked like, what kind of jewelry they had, it had nothing to do with how much money they had. I don't know if I've told this before, but I think it's pretty funny. You know, we were always taught to do what we were supposed to do. Do what you're supposed to do and and you'll be okay. Well, one day dad noticed my car wasn't there. And when he came home for lunch, he said, are you sick? And I said, no. He, he said, well, why aren't you at work? And I said, well, you get one sick day a month. And he said, Mary Ellen, he said, that's, you're supposed to be sick. And I, I had no idea. I thought, oh, if you get one sick day a month, you better take it because you're going to lose it. So uh, anyway, so that was in 1971. I got married in January of 1972. And I worked there until I had my son in 1975. And I tell you what, it was a very learning experience. I'm going to use Gratitude. It is the highlighter, but I'm going to use it on my inner part of my lid right there on both of these. So I stayed home with my children. I had another child in 1977 and I did a little bit of adult education for a while and I enjoyed that a lot. But I would do like two weeks. I'd work two weeks every three months and my mom and dad would come out and babysit. It, it was, it was, or else I'd take the kids in there, but it was really nice. And in 1979, I became, I took a job one day a week as a waitress at a nice restaurant and I learned a whole lot there. If you have a good memory and you treat all your customers alike, which you should anyway, you can really make a lot of money being a waitress. Now I'm going to put a little bit of powder on my face. I have big, big windows in here and the sun's going to come up. It's going to be bright and then it's not going to be. And when the sun is really bright, my skin really shines. So I'm not sure what it's doing now, but I'm going to go ahead and put some of the powder. What I like about this palette is that it has everything you need in it. It was wonderful to travel with when we were traveling and we will travel again but I hope I got all my shiny places. I think this video is gonna to be too long if I talk about all my jobs, so I'll, I'll continue with those later. I really haven't had that many jobs or that many ad addresses in my life. The next is my superhero mascara. You know, I love it. It's I've saved a ton of money by not buying other mascaras. I really have. Found one that I liked, and for me, it's as good as it gets. But I'm not gonna be able to use this uh, the mirror I'm looking at right now is a one-time magnification, and I, I can't do mascara with that, so I'm just going to take it out of here. I open this up the first day of autumn, and I do that the first day of every season, and that way I know that my mascaras aren't going to, they're going to be good. So I just always look right down, and I don't curl my lashes anymore. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then I take just a wand that doesn't have anything on it and that's not bad lashes for one for 12 for 12 swipes it's not bad i like it i mean i'm happy with the length of my lashes and i do use the grande lash and i could have them a lot longer but this is fine for me and after i have my mascara on i use the milani i found it and it's blue and i really like it 
and I don't know if it stays put in the upper water line if you buy any other shade, but other than blue does. And I just go like this. I don't touch, you never see me pull and tug at my eyes. Because if I couldn't do this, I just would skip it. But I really think it makes a dramatic look. And it does make the whites of my eyes whiter. And I'm going to use the darkest color in here. And I'm just going to squirt a little bit of water on the lid. And like I've said many times, I don't need Fix Plus. I don't need anything. But I like just plain old water. And it stays. And I only dip this into just a certain part of that. I always use the top part of the eyeshadow because it will sometimes make it hard where you can't use it as eyeshadow anymore. But I'm using this other brush that is, I love it. It's a 208. It's the tiniest little brush, but it does such a good job putting on my eyeshadow, eyeliner. And I can make a little tiny wing up like that. And I don't ever put it down there. I could, but I have, I do have, but I do have tattoo eyeliner and I've had it for probably 10 plus years. I really, I can't remember exactly when I got it, but I knew that Jim and I were, we were going to Branson and I'm not kidding you. I could not believe how bruised my eyelids were. And it was just like the most beautiful uh, shade of, I mean, it was just like beautiful eyeshadow and it, but I would do it again in a heartbeat if I needed to, but I don't think I'll need to because I've it stayed this long. Now to make this area less dark, I use a light eyeshadow and it, it does work for me better than any kind of concealer or just regular powder will work for me. And I just kind of dab it on right in through there. And I hope you can see how it lightens that up. That's the darkest area on my face. And then I'm going to use a little contour, which I usually don't, but I'm going to try just a little bit. And I'm going to use the end of this brush and just barely touch it in there and go like this and like this. And blend it out. Blend it up. I don't want my face to fall any more than it has. And the blush in this palette is called Joy. And I'll tell you now, this is gonna be a giveaway. I usually don't tell you at this point, but I'm looking forward to my giveaway. And then if I wanna put a little highlighter on, I will. And I'll just put it on the top of my cheek. And that's called Gratitude. So that is it for today. As far as makeup goes, I'm not gonna, now that I'm not using hairspray, <laughs> on my eyebrows. I need to find another use for it. I, I know I'll come up with something. Okay, for the giveaway today, I'm going to give away three sets of the Emily Edit eyeshadows. Well, one of them is a needs. It has everyone. That's what I just showed. That I showed you the big eyeshadow palette, and then this is what I use today. If you're somebody that's not into eyeshadow or makeup, these would be great gifts to give someone else. But I want to give this away to three people. I think it's remarkable that these palettes are still available. I remember how excited she was prior to this coming out and how much attention to detail she put into the shade she chose, the name she chose. Emily and I are friends. We've had lunch together three times, even though she is 30 years, over 30 years younger than me. And I don't see any age difference and she is more beautiful in person than she is on video. So if you don't watch Emily, you need to. She is a true makeup lover. She has never lost interest in makeup. She's never done a sponsored video. She has never accepted a product for a good review. She's just super, super honest and, and I appreciate that. Anyway, it's gonna be so easy to enter. All you're gonna have to do is in your comment, in a sentence, just type in this word, Emily. That's what I'm going to use, Emily. And if you're 18 years or older, you will be entered in my giveaway. My giveaways close after three days and I announce the winners on my following video, which I've been doing every other week. Every other Sunday, I upload a video. So that's all you have to do is comment below and uh, say Emily in your sentence 
it is all good. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I appreciate you more than you will ever know. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. I mean, I don't think I'll ever, re I'll, 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 I keep my giveaways live. Face, makeup look. And I think I'm gonna talk about my history now. And that is a good thing.